see I didn't completely finish this project since I wasn't so happy with the, the way it came out but uh, like I said at the beginning there is definitely some good lessons to be learned here and let me bring you in closer and I'll show you the details of the work and we'll state out where I went wrong and the things I would have needed to change to make this project this project a success so what we see here are the three parts one two and three now if I turn this all the way around, the pattern at the back matches the one at the front as far as orientation go. But to my idea was that if we take these three parts and we spin them all in the same direction, I wanted that the front will always match, which obviously doesn't happen here. Because what I did was I turned everything around as a block instead of every single piece and we're going back to the original which now matches so the first mistake was messing up the alignment of the pieces while I was turning remember that if you want everything to be correct when you spin it on the same axis then you should spin it the same way on your 
backing platform. The second mistake that I made was choosing the wrong type of, tree, of uh, wood. Uh, I chose a uh, blonde mahogany for this project simply because it's the wood that I had lying around. Yet this wood is so soft that it completely chipped out whenever I was changing this, the shape as you can see. I'm sorry I meant when I was changing the orientation. It completely chipped out on almost all the sides. I've got to chip out and tear out and sending it was a very very big mess. So that was the second mistake, the choice of wood, which was wrong. Uh, another mistake I've made is uh, trying to, maybe we'll, we'll see it better, for example here, as you can see, let me place it on the platform. I've in some parts I've I went for very narrow enclaves which first was very difficult to to send but other than that it doesn't look that good it's, it doesn't look impressive at all uh, well if I keep the the shapes that I've made long and large like in this part they do look very good so another conclusion that we can make is that bigger spaces, bi bigger elements, uh, more flowing shapes instead of just going in and out with a parting tool would make a much more impressive pattern. Let's see if we can match up something else here. As you can see it became more like a puzzle than, than a form. So that's definitely not that. There we go. So this is another example where very large surfaces and enclaves and beads look much more impressive than the small ones. Although they do give some effect, so maybe just at the center a few of those would have been better than trying to make whole areas with the same shape like this one I want to thank you for joining me for this week's video and I hope to see you back in my shop really soon I don't